630 and 1170. Nope, I gotta catch up. 808, okay. Gonna have to sell that much. Okay, he's on his way to that 500 shop I just uh, made a big investment in. I should probably try to buy out uh, Yangus's 55 right there. For less than its value. Let's try it now. Three ten is the base value. Yangus is gonna adjust it to five forty two. Let's do it. Alrighty. I just put I just gave Carver some dangerous territory to cross. So if I land on the arcade. Uh well. Can I get a venture card that will give me some money? Big commission till next turn. That's not really going to help me. I got to sell a ton of stock, unfortunately. We'll go and sell 30. To especially crash him. Two. Okay. Yeah, he still has dangerous territory to cross. <laughs> Sooner or later. Stock price has increased by 10%. Oh, come on. My set of four. Dang. Does anyone even have stock invested there? No. <laughs> of course not. Okay, Bianca is piggybacking with me right there. I just noticed. One. I'm going to hold off because I really need some more ready cash. I really do. Four! Yeah! Oh, I thought he was going to land on 1190. Well, but at least I got a big sale from him nonetheless. Oh, he buys it out. I'll tell you what, though. He just made a crucial mistake right there by buying it for that much. I mean, do you realize what Carver just did? Now he just sold all his stock there. But... He gave me the lead by buying that out. I don't know what he was thinking there. He just put me back in the game. Now if I try to buy it out from him, what is he willing to offer me? I got tons of ready cash for it. Try to buy it back. Cover is adjusting it to 1646. Ah, eh, can't do it now. Five. Okay. Get me to the bank now. 31. Shops expand by 10%. Oh, come on. Dang. That's going to help Carver in a big way. So now you can call that a 27% increase in his shops. Get a 1. Okay. 
he goes up and around. That's his own shop. Okay, he's finally sprucing up here. For Yangus. You can buy any unowned shop. There's only one on Has that shop been unowned for quite a, quite some time after it was forcibly auctioned off? I mean, we're 51 minutes into the recording and that shop went vacant for that much time. Can you believe that? Alrighty, give me a uh, four. Six. And seventy. Okay, Carver has a big uh, obstacle right there. Seven. Increase stock value by 20% in the district of your choice. That one? 795. Oh gosh. That really benefited her a lot. Three. Well, at least that vaults Bianca into second place instead of Carver. He'll probably buy this out. I'll bet he will. No. No, he probably can't because he's like 1,500 behind me. 1,500 net worth. Oh, jeez, Yangus, please. Okay, fine. He's taking away 22 from each of us. Okay, well, gonna land on that venture card space. 1285. Okay. Yeah, let's get some more stock invested here just to really piggyback with him. 94. Free diamond. I don't want a free diamond. I'd rather have a free spade or heart. Probably the heart. Ooh. Get a one. Or. the other way around. Now. Might as well go this way. 
Um, I'm gonna do this. Eleven twenty. That is great. Cell twenty. That also crashed his net worth. An asset of two gold coins per unit of stock he owns. 300! Alrighty! At least he took a drop there. a good lead on Carver, so I'm going to see if I could try to buy out that uh, 55 shop again. Let's try for this much. <laughs> yeah, same amount. But you know what? I'm willing to uh, take a chance here. Twenty two oh four. Five. Okay. Gonna get some fifty gold here. Can I get some extra gold? Take our gold from all other players. Well, that's only three hundred, but at least that's a little less stock to sell back. Now if I sold them all right here, there's only one seventy left I have right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all that I have. I probably should have uh, kept some to crash Carver if I need to, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Watch her buy this out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dang, I really felt like I had a decent chance to really establish something big there. Yeah. I'm sort of back to where I was right there anyway. Now if I try to buy it from Bianca, how much will she uh, charge me? Just 895? Really? Yes. P really? Carver, the C rank player, charged like double what Bianca wanted for it. <laughs> the B rank. Bianca, the B rank player, wanted half of what the C rank player Carver wanted. <laughs> how, how do you explain that? Well, let's invest a lot more stock here. Alrighty, let's see if Bianca gets a 1 next turn. I should have uh, invested in that 275, but um, I, I want to take a chance that she'll roll a 1 next turn. Can 
the Angus land on one of them. Oh yeah! Now let's see if we can get it from Bianca as well. Yeah! <laughs> yes! How about that? Well, they put me well over the target, so I can just um, make a long, make a long go around on the bottom where the heart is. That's all I really need to do. All right, now warp me to the bank. Eighty is free spade, which I don't need. Club would have been better. <laughs> Stock price has increased by 20%. Oh, I'm gonna laugh if it's my set of four. Nope. But it greatly affected Bianca. I know, I'm kind of silent right now because huh, not much is going on right now. And I'm not getting high enough rolls. But a 6 next turn will get me to the bank. Or we can just finish this off once and for all. But I sure would love to see Carver land on one of my uh, big 4 spaces before I get to the bank. He'd have to roll high, though, and I'd have to roll low. Just to have an opportunity. Leave 20 stocks in a district picked at random. <laughs> <laughs> Just an extra 20 for ones she already has. Alright, will I get a 6? No. Oh. Right there. That's where I needed to invest. That will really prevent a buyout. <laughs> One. Eh, we're not gonna see Carver make it to it. Make it to the big four.
All right, no one. Thank you. Wow. I don't think too much threw in into this one. This one felt like a business as usual. Get behind in some ways, but then just find a way to win it. I guess that's how you can say, uh, I win this one. Bronze First Fortunist, Bronze Property, and Silver Stokes Primo. Take away Bronze Fortunist, Bronze Best Bingo, Bronze Domination Totem. Okay. Yeah. It's only gonna take off like that when you invest like mad in those kinds of shops right there. I felt like if there, if I'm gonna overtake Carver in some way, I gotta um, really um, buy out some shops that just haven't been invested in as much in terms of both capital and stock. And I took advantage of that in the last uh, 10 or 15 turns of this. And yeah, I received sales by a resounding margin over payments. <laughs> and Carver, um, it seemed like he was getting quite a lot of sales too, but his payments were um, near even. <laughs> Looks like uh, Bianca had the worst sales payments ratio. Otherwise, I'm not sure what else to say on that front. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for this edition of Fortune Street. This was Mario Circuit on Standard Rules. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you good friends on the next Fortune Street board. Only four left, guys. Hope you stick around for them. Have an awesome day. So long. <laughs>